people are usually surprised to hear me say like, we'll use a squat as a way to understand orthostatic intolerance, but it's actually a really good test. If you think about it, when somebody squats down, they're squishing all of that blood from their legs and their abdomen back up to their heart. It increases something called venous return. When all that blood comes back to the heart, it's a lot easier to be able, for that heart to be able to push it back out in the system. We say the blood pressure goes up, it activates baroreceptors in the neck, goes to the brain, says, hey, blood pressure is a little high, let's cool it down. So it uses a cardiovagal output back to the heart, slows down the heart rate, dilates the vessel a little bit, allows it to be able to normalize, right? Cool. When you stand up, it should flip. The difference is, is we want to understand what is the reaction time or the latency for how quickly that system responds. For some people, it's so latent that it just doesn't do it. Other people, it takes a long time to respond. So when they stand back up, we're using those legs like a big suction cup or a syringe, pulling that blood back down out of the heart, which is going to drop blood pressure. Then we need a response to say we need to kick up blood pressure, get blood back to the brain so that we don't pass out. And what we're looking at is the time change there. So how quickly does the blood pressure respond? How does the heart rate respond? Does it elevate to try to maximize blood pressure? Or do we see changes in activity in the brain? So all of these things go together. We can take a simple squat, stand back up again. Some people will notice that this makes them symptomatic. That's a clue. And we can use that as a way to start to measure that barrel reflex sensitivity. Super, super, super important part of all people dealing with not just POTS, but all forms of orthostatic intolerance. Hope that helps.